Today, I'm going to show you how to use watercolor pencils. We're going to create this beautiful flower image, but first I'm going to show you the tools and supplies you'll need to do this, and then I'll give you three basic techniques that will allow you to create these beautifully colored stamped images. All right, first, your inks, very important. There are three different bases that you can use. The first is an archival dye ink. Your second option is a pigment-based ink, or you can use embossing powder. Any of these three options will allow you to color without smearing your ink. What you should not use are solvent-based inks like stays on, or water-based inks. Both of these will smear if you try to color with them. All right, next, the pencils themselves. These are close to my heart's watercolor pencils. And what's nice about these is not only do they say watercolor on the box, but they also say watercolor on the pencil. So you know you're not using just regular colored pencils. So when you get yours, make sure it says watercolor because these techniques will not work with just colored pencils. And finally, your blending pen. Blending pens will come with a nice brush tip on one side and a fine tip on the other. These are fantastic for using with your colored pencils. It will allow you to smooth out the color and you'll have plenty of control over what you do. All right. So let's get started coloring. The first thing I want to show you is just basic coloring. I am just using this cranberry red colored pencil to color this image in. You notice I'm not doing anything special with it other than trying to make sure I don't uh, get any color off the, the lines. Other than that, other than staying within the lines, I'm just kind of going at it willy-nilly. All right, so you can see when I'm done, the coloring doesn't look fantastic. It's splotchy, there's lines all over the place, there's white spots, eh, it looks okay. But that can be changed with the magic of your blending pen. So now I'm gonna go back and just simply flick my blending pen over the areas that I colored. And you'll notice something. The streaks disappear and the white spots get filled in. That is the magic of the blending pen. So now you'll see all the streaks are gone along with all of the white spots. And all I did was simply go over the area I colored with my blending pen. Now when you're done coloring, you'll want to make sure to take a scrap piece of paper and just wipe it down with your blending pen. That way it gets rid of any remaining ink that's on there. All right, next technique. For this one, I'm going to take a green pencil and I am going to darkly outline all the veins of these leaves. See, I didn't color the entire leaf, I just did the veins. And now what I'm going to do with the blending pen is I'm going to go over these areas that I colored and I'm going to pull the ink from the pencil onto the image. So I did not color this entire leaf, I just colored the veins, but there is enough color from that for me to pull it through to the rest of the leaf. And so now that I'm done, the leaves are perfectly colored in just by using a little bit of color on the outlined image. All right, last, my favorite technique. I am going to use this yellow pencil and I'm gonna color very heavily in the center. And this technique really is all about going from very dark to very light. So I just want the very center to be colored very dark. And I'm going to use my blending pen to pull that color to make the edges nice and light. 
So kind of go as far as you'd like. All right, once that's done, I start here in the dark and I pull it to the edge of the flower. And you can see as I do that, the edge of the flower gets colored, but it's much lighter than the center portion where I'm pulling the color from. And this is an amazing technique that you can use on just about anything. Start dark and then pull it towards your white space to give it color, but to make it lighter so that you have this nice gradient of dark to light. So now my flower has a beautiful look to it with a darker interior and a lighter exterior. And if I want to make that even more obvious, I can take color from the inside here where it's even darker and pull it out again. So that way you can create different shades on your flower. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, that's a little bit, you know, it's, it's not as well blended. So I can just continue to make sure that it doesn't look like it's so sharply defined. And just by using the blending pen, it creates a looser definition. And so there's my flower. Nice dark inside to beautiful light outside. So there you go. A beautifully colored stamped image using watercolor pencils and a blending pen. Now it's your turn. Happy crafting.